In the past, you've experienced the technological angler through big boats and time on the ice. During that time, however, I've often dreamed of the opportunity to fish in places where my big boat simply won't go. Destinations that are off the beaten path where I can fish in solitude, or even wild, untamed rivers that have never been fished with the help of modern technology. An adventure to take us to those places begins today with the Old Town Predator XL, the ultimate fishing machine. Our adventure begins with electronics, and I've decided to install a Humminbird Helix 7, a powerful yet very user-friendly sonar GPS combo that in my mind is the perfect complement to the Old Town Predator XL. The Minn Kota console in my Predator XL is fish finder ready, which will make this process quick and easy. Let's learn how to rig the ultimate fishing machine. Installation of the Helix 7 takes place in three steps. First, we'll mount the transducer. Then, we'll install the power source. And finally, we'll attach the fish finder to the console. We're going to rig the Helix 7 transducer on a custom removable mounting plate on the bottom of the Minn Kota console. A great feature of this mounting location is that the transducer will be safe from impacts within its own protective pocket. Begin by removing the mounting plate from the bottom of the Minn Kota console. Position the transducer bracket as far forward as possible on this plate. This will ensure that the sonar beam is not obstructed by the Minn Kota's lower unit. Attach the transducer to its mounting bracket and adjust to ensure that the bottom face of the transducer is level. Next, remove the mounting plate from the top of the Minn Kota console to expose a rigging channel. Pass the transducer cable through this channel. Now, install the mounting plate with the transducer attached to the bottom of the console, routing the transducer cable through the notch in the side of the plate. The Helix 7 transducer is now installed on the Minn Kota console. Let's move on to the power supply. Let's begin with the power cable by first installing quick connect terminals on each of the two power leads. Now, we'll route the power cable into the Minn Kota console. With the console hatch and the top mounting plate removed, push out the small black plug above the rigging channel. This will open a path for the power cable to reach into the Minn Kota console. Let's move on to the power source. In order to avoid electrical and radio frequency interference from the Minn Kota trolling motor, it is critically important that you not connect your fish finder's power cable to the trolling motor battery. Use a separate battery instead. We're going to use a small 12 volt sealed lead-acid battery to power the Helix. Choose a battery with a large capacity, like this 9 amp hour battery, to ensure that Helix doesn't run out of power before the end of your adventure. The battery will sit on this small shelf in the front of the Minn Kota console. We will secure the battery in place with 3M dual lock sheets, with one piece on the shelf and the other on the bottom of the battery. This provides for a secure fit for the battery while on the water, while still allowing for easy removal for recharge between adventures. With the battery in place, attach the leads from the Helix power cable to the battery's terminals. Now, our power source installation is complete. Let's complete the Helix installation by rigging the unit on the top of the Minn Kota console. Begin by reattaching the console's top mounting plate. Route the Helix power and transducer cables through the notches in the back of the plate, leaving at least one foot of cable exposed to complete the installation. For convenience, we've chosen a RAM electronics mount. This will allow us to reposition the Helix for a variety of fishing conditions, and also allow for easy removal of the Helix when transporting the Predator between adventures. With the Helix 7 now mounted on the Predator, 
complete the rigging process by attaching power and transducer cables to the back of the unit. Now, with our Humminbird Helix 7 completely installed and operating, we're ready for adventure in the Old Town Predator XL, the ultimate fishing machine. <laughs>